A raven's mark. A raven's mark. A whisper of a wing. A moment's memory that lifted and rose and flew away. I imagine the black wings on white snow, pressing against the cold and sunlit contrast. The conspiracy of ravens continues to twist and dive as they celebrate the sun on this cold afternoon. Their shrill voices travel along the bluff as they harass an eagle passing by, flying the beach. And below the wing print marks out a moment, then is left like a petroglyph whose meaning has been lost. A Frozen River A frozen river is a quiet thing, more quiet than most. I suppose that's because we're used to its symphony of swift water rhythms. In the warmer months, the music is continual. As water slips over rocks, cuts into banks, and pushes through broken off branches and roots. But the river sleeps now, its deepest February sleep. That leave me the hell alone kind of sleep. When it slowly awakens and pushes off its icy covers, I'm sure it'll have more to say. Sand swirls in the canyon as the Santa Ana winds push across the dry, flat places to the rincons in the east. I escaped the cold of Alaska to come to this place of bare rock canyons, sunny warm days, cactus needles, and pools of precious water. My mind moves in circles like the dust. I'm walking on stones as the sky turns to lavender and salmon. We move slowly. How many more canyons will I walk through in this life? I feel alone in my footsteps, moving down the trail into the darkness. The loneliness remains, no matter who is with me along with the fear that I'll never be close enough to the heartbeat of this world. I tied some words. I tied some words to one another and tried not to knot them up too badly. I wanted them to dance a while, while they softly talk together. They slip out of my thoughts at times and land on the floor like fish flapping out of water. But at other times they pull together, like they have magnets in their pockets. Melting Shapes of Spring Melting shapes of spring waiting for their turn to sink into the sand and salt water as the moist, warm air breathes down their necks without thought of tomorrow or the next day after that. Waves push the icy forms with persistence along the shore without pretense but steady rhythms of pulsing water. With seagulls crying in the fog, all lost in gray and far beyond, where the eye can catch them, sounds another measure that meets the surf and mixes in the mist. All this pulsing and this breathing that moves in waves across the surface leaves me thinking, what's the reason and the purpose? The Pulling Waiting for the tide to turn and the moon to do its pulling When the salty underside of the sea is exposed to reveal its shallow treasure I walk the spongy sand where the waves lap against the shoreline They roll a sound like breath into the body Then exhale slowly as they draw back and ebb into the deep gray water My footsteps disappear as soon as they mark my path, while my thoughts breathe a similar rhythm. I find that walking the beach can restore a life that's tightened and slightly broken. I laid there thinking. I laid there thinking life has its moments and its limitations. It has its beginnings, but mostly it has its endings, and it will go on without us someday. It was a familiar path of thinking for me, and I was tired of it bouncing around in my head. I was wondering how I could let it go and leave it behind me, but it seemed the path was dug too deep. My brother hugged me at the airport this morning. It was a powerful embrace with a pull I can't remember ever feeling from him. 
His marriage was dissolving, and I was leaving for home. It must have felt like it was ending all around him, and I felt powerless to stop it. He is my little brother, after all, and I couldn't protect him from it, this crumbling. So I held him close as we teared up and tried to hold on. Soon we grabbed the bags and walked inside with swift movements that brought us back to the world. But that embrace was all that really mattered. It was there for good. Thank you.